All right. What are contraindications to the use of nitro? They have max or exceeded their or hit the maximum dosage, I guess. Okay. So they've already taken three doses. What else? Systolic lower than 100. Systolic lower than 100. What else? Presence of a head injury. Or any of the other okay, so they've taken ED medications regularly or previously. It's 24 to 48 hours. Okay. What else? You just said something. Head injury. Head injuries. Why don't we want to give them nitro if they've had a head injury? Increase the blood flow to the head injury. How does it increase blood flow? What is nitroglycerin? Vasodilator. It's a vasodilator. That's the same reason we don't want to give them nitro if they've taken ED meds. What are ED meds? Vasodilator. Vasodilator. We don't want to double up. Okay? We don't want to double up on those vasodilators. We don't want to give them nitroglycerin if they have a head injury because it's going to cause their head injury to bleed more. It's a vasodilator. That constriction that's happening, remember when we talked about how blood stops flowing? One of the first things that happens is the vessel starts to constrict, right? To try and slow the blood flow down. If that's happening here in this head injury and we give them a vasodilator, what's going to happen to that constriction? It's going to go away. Is it just head injury or any severe hemorrhaging that we would... Um, they mentioned specifically head injury. Right. Is it because you can more likely stop other injuries? Possibly, sure. uh, but it's probably also because we can't ever, we can't really see what's going on in here. So if they have a head injury, we don't know if there's already bleeding inside the skull, and giving that medicine, causing that vasodilation, can cause increased pressure inside the brain. That's true. The three doses, does it, is it a time frame in which? Yeah, so you can give three doses, one dose every five minutes, right? So if they've already taken their three doses, you gotta wait a while before you can give them more. Any other contraindications to the use of nitroglycerin? Uh, they are not prescribed it. They are not prescribed it. don't have medical director approval? Yeah, no permission from your medical director. Or it's expired, I guess, prescription. Yeah, the prescription could be expired. Nitroglycerin is one of those meds that really the expiration date matters. There's not a, there are some meds that the expiration date doesn't really matter at all, right? We all have heard of agencies keeping meds past date because you can't replace them and the efficacy hasn't changed. Medical directors throughout the country have written new protocols to allow for the use of expired meds because the medications are not being replenished as quickly as they need to be. But nitroglycerin is one of the medications that expires and when it expires it starts to disintegrate pretty rapidly. Okay. How can you tell if a patient's nitroglycerin is working? They're going to tell you they get a headache. They're going to tell you that the nitroglycerin is giving them a headache. It could be worse. Low to the head, is that why? Yeah. No pressure. That, that vasodilation again. Okay. Okay. It's at 36, in case you're wondering. Oh, I am? Wow, that lecture went fast. Go ahead and turn it off. <laughs>